Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm taking advantage of a really great sunny day to film another video. Today I'm sharing just a simple one page layout I made using an SVG file from Cuddly Cute Designs. I'm on their design team. Just sharing this cute little girl. She is the Joker girl from the new superheroes designs. Pretty cute. I'm um, using a photo I have from uh, my great niece. She's a, uh, I call her Sassy Sally. She's quite the uh, little hamster. She's not afraid to stick up for herself, which I'm proud of her. Even just barely over two years old, she, she can hold her own. So she's going to be okay. So I'm just putting down my photo mat. I apologize, I thought I had some of this done. I'm a little bit unprepared today. Uh, this will be, I will hold a four by six photo. And I'm just doing a single photo for this one. I, again, following a sketch I'd found on Pinterest, of course. But I kind of enjoyed it, so. And I just wanted this simple just to quit put a photo on. I have several photos or pages in my albums with just one photo. I'll get this out of my way a little bit. Hope you're all having a great day. It's like I said it's sunny here. Uh, it's been kind of cloudy and dreary. We've had a lot of snow the last week or so, so this is just to me a perfect day. Well, these are just some narrow strips I'm attaching here. Go back and remove the glue. Uh, the black is, can't see there, about one and eighth inches and the Pattern paper, oh, I take that back, it's about one and a quarter. It's supposed to be and then one and an eighth for the pattern paper. And this one I believe is the same. I'm not 100%, I'll quick measure it. No, it is one and then the black is one and an eighth. It's one inch and one and an eighth. I just find that if I back pieces on a black or a darker color, they really do stand out and I usually just use an eighth of an inch border I just sometimes I'll do one in this you know like a sixteenth I um so it's very even more narrow it's whatever I feel like these are uh, just some dies I had in my stash I cut these out with um, Um, we'll be putting, I believe I'm just going to put a little, use it for a little journal take or journal spot, or I will just be putting, typing up a little tag that says Sassy Sally, and probably the year of the photo that I have, and I'm still debating whether I'm going to add the Joker card from a deck of playing cards. I haven't decided I am. Um, might do that. I just don't know if I want to go quite that far. I don't want to offend her either of her if she sees it later. But this Harlequin plate piece. When I saw the Joker file, I remembered I had this, and it's an older stack. I believe it's from Die Cuts with a View. Um, but I thought it would be perfect just because the Joker girl, her real name and is Harley Quinn. And I just, uh, oh, I'll use it sometimes. Uh, Finding the right papers can be a challenge. I just, um, 
think I'm color coordinated challenged. So these the papers though are all from the same stack, the printed papers. Yeah, solid colors obviously are just what I have in my stash, but And now you can see why I have to use glue that I can move around because I, yes, I do have problems getting it straight most days. I've been known to take a lot of things off and re-glue them, put them back on because I just wasn't happy after I got everything put together. So... Just I eyeball the good majority of my things. I ordered a tea ruler uh, off of eBay. As of yet, have not received it. Don't know if I will ever receive it. To be honest, I am. Um, got the first one. It was broken and reached out to the seller and was supposed to receive another one and I haven't as of yet so oh well it was not a real expensive purchase so I can live with that okay. and I forgot to mention this is 12 inches long this first strip the second strip is approximately uh, 11 inches long, just a little shorter. Sorry, I'm not always in frame. I do apologize. I'm still learning how to film a video properly. All right, and this one just goes a little above it and I'm gonna just leave it up a little bit just because I wanna put this down and I just decided I'm not going to put the Joker card on here. I just uh, think we'll leave it off. But I'm going to put this down a little bit so I, so I can get this where I want it placed here. Okay. So. And I just want to tack a little more glue down here. Add my photo mat. Attempt to get it somewhat straight. I'm sure you guys uh, can see it. Looking at it, it's probably crooked. It is what it is. Once had a lady tell me when we were making cards, that's where God wanted me to put it. And I just chuckled and I kind of go with her theory. We are not meant to be perfect, I believe. So do my best. All right. So again, I'm leaving her flat. Um, just because my photo albums are getting difficult to lift. All right, I do have some. I will be right back. I need to get scissors. I had one out and I Put it away. I apologize. I want to get my flowers in there and I put stamens in and I hadn't cut them out yet. My flowers, I did add 
stickles. I don't know if you can see. I think it was diamond stickles on the petals just to add a little bit of sparkle. Draw it as a, a layout for a girl. And I'm going to attempt to use my glossy accents to put this down. My glossy accents. It's in bad health. Not sure what I don't have. Don't use it a lot, so I don't have the best of luck with it sometimes. But I'm just putting some flower or some leaves and some flowers up in the corner here. Again, like I said, this is just a real quick layout. Um, I'm using for one of my great nieces photos. I had to laugh at her at Christmas. The minute she get the camera out, she's posing. Jeez, she's ready for her pictures. She's just, she is so much fun. Okay, and I'm going to put some glossy accents under the stamens here, if I, well, try. Uh, just to kind of hold them down a little bit. Uh, and I will just put glossy accents all over here. Well, there it's coming out. Sticking to my fingers and everything. And hold that down for a second. Excuse my hands. I have some uh, residual health issues from a previous couple previous surgeries on my hands, so I don't have the greatest hands. I apologize. I have tried to work with them, but it's just not happening. Well. I will go back and work with that a little bit. Again, if you have comments or questions, I love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to leave comments. I am always open to constructive criticism also. If you have suggestions, that would be great. I'm going to tack a little bit of glue there. I don't know if any yet. But there is my layout, everyone. Quite simple. I'm not able to share photos of my family online, so I apologize. I'm not able to put the pictures in there, but pretty happy with it want to thank everybody again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.